ओके ओके तो प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट हियर टू फोर्सेस ऑफ 100 न्यूटन एंड 150 न्यूटन आर एक्टिंग साइमेंटेनियसली एट अ पॉइंट फर्स्ट ऑफ व्हाट इज द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दिस टू फोर्सेस इफ द एंगल बिटवीन देम इज 45 डिग्री ओके सो दीज आर द टू फोर्सेस इट विल बी एक्टेड ऑन पार्टिकल सो फर्स्ट वन इट इज एफ वन इट इज एक्टेड 100 न्यूटन 100 न्यूटन एंड एफ टू इट इज एफ टू इट इज 150 न्यूटन 150 न्यूटन ओके एंड एंगल थीटा the angle between these two forces it will be 45 degree 45 degree okay so this data is given for calculating the resultant force so see here one particle it should be there one particle so on that particle these are the two forces will be acted okay these two forces it will be acted that is one it is f1 force that is f1 force F1 force and second one it is F2 force. Second one it is acted F2 force. This one it is F2 force. Okay, F2 force. Okay, the angle between these two forces it is 45 degree. Okay, so this angle it will be 45 degree. Okay, the angle between these forces it will be 45 degree. Okay, so we remove these two forces and apply one single force on that particle. The effect on the particle it will be same. Okay. The effect of the particle it will be same compared. The effect on the particle is equal to F1 F2 forces. Okay, that is we called resultant force. Okay, so as per the law of parallelogram, so we know that we know that we know that resultant force we know that as per the law of parallelogram, R is equal to R is equal to root of root of root of root of f1 square root of f1 square f1 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus f2 square plus 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 two F1, who F1, F2, cos theta, cos theta, cos theta. Okay, so this one it is formula for law of parallelogram to calculate and resultant forces. And two forces it will be acted on particle. Okay, so is equal to F1. It will be we know that root of root of root of root of F1 square. It will be. 100 square, 100 square, 100 square, 100 square plus F2 it is 150 square, F2 it is 150 square, 150 square, 150 square, 150 square. then plus, then plus, plus 2 into F1 it is 100 and F2 it is 150 into cos into cos angle it will be how much it will be 45 degree 45 degree okay it will be it resultant of force from this relation okay it will be calculate r is equal to r is equal to r is equal to so it is 100 square plus 150 square plus plus 2 into 100 into 150 into cos 45 cos 45 okay root of answer it will be 231 so resultant it is 231.76 1 newton okay so resultant of this force it is 231.761 newton okay so this one it is resultant of this Two forces. Okay, so you apply two thirty one point seven six one Newton resultant force.